Good morning. Wednesday morning. I'm tired. I only slept like five hours last night. And I don't know why. I don't know. So, I'm having my coffee. Typical Wednesday morning. Worrying about the dang scale. Why do I worry about it? I don't understand. Well, I do understand. I worry about it because it never goes down like it's supposed to, or like I want it to. I want to lose that one to two pounds like it's everyone says you're supposed to be losing. It just never happens to me. I don't know why. I know age is one thing, I know, I know. My metabolism is crap, I know. I guess I answered my own questions, but it's just discouraging, you know? Uh, so, it's still early, it's only, it's not even six o'clock yet. So, I'm, Gracie's gonna, about to attack me in a second, so. <laughs> Every time I sit at the table, she tends to want my undivided attention and attack me. So I'm just having my coffee and listening to the news. And I'm looking at all this crap over here thinking, I really need to do something with all this and I have no idea what to do with it. Look at this mess. It's just like, this is like Sully's corner. This is all his junk here. Yeah. But then you get over here, and this is my mess. I have no idea what to do with any of it. Like, it's just a mess. <laughs> I have no cabinet space. I have no drawers. Nothing. I have one drawer in my kitchen. One. Ugh. There's no storage in this apartment whatsoever. Why am I thinking about this at quarter or six in the morning? I don't know. God. Anyways, I just thought I'd come on and say good morning. And I hope it doesn't rain on me today. I'm gonna go to Market Basket after weigh-in in and the, and the meeting. I wanna pick up some celery and some lentils. I wanna make some um, red lentil curry, and then, what else? I think I might uh, get some things to start some juicing again. I haven't done juicing in about, wow, it's way over five years anyway. Eight years maybe, I used to, I used to do juicing all the time. That's all I had was juice I made. Still didn't lose weight, so <laughs> you would think I would lose weight just juicing, but I didn't. I know, even when I ate all raw, I was a high, uh, low carb, high, f no, what was it? High carb, low fat, raw vegan. I did the, ouch, there she goes. I did that for probably close to two years. <gasps> Ow, she bit me. Um, and I still didn't lose weight. I'm telling you. I think it's because I need to eat more calories. But who knows? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't work when I lose less calories, when I eat less calories, so. All right, well, that's enough boring chit-chat. I will... Uh, I'll see you later. Talk to you soon. Good morning. I have a grocery haul today. I went to Trader Joe's this morning instead of going to Market Basket. So I thought I would share what I got. So let me see how I can do this without. Oh, well, let me see. I got some organic broccoli slaw. 
We're gonna have this for dinner tonight with, with Brenda. Sally will never eat this, so the Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice with the orange chicken. I haven't had this before. I have had the rice, but I've never had this. I don't even know how many points it is, but it's Wednesday and I treat myself Wednesday night for dinner normally, a little bit, a little bit. I also got chicken fried rice. I got some raspberries. I absolutely love raspberries. That's one thing I do miss about being at the house is all my raspberry bushes I had. <sighs> Oh well, um, I got some different salad mixes to try, but I probably will not use the dressings in any of these. So this is the Mediterranean style. Um, I also got a coleslaw kit. I got two things of organic celery so I can do some celery juice. And I only, only buy organic celery. For some reason, if I eat normal celery, um, I don't know, I have a funny reaction in my mouth. It's it's a weird sensation. And something in there, the preservatives or chemicals or sprays or something, even though they wash it, it still affects me. So I always buy organic celery and I find the flavor to be even better. So that's what I got. I got some... Uh, Gala apples to go with my celery juice. Picked up some tricolor quinoa. I might make, um, I might, haven't decided yet, quinoa black bean patties. I used to make these all the time, so I might get back into doing that. Uh, some red lentils for my curried red lentil. Uh, curried, yeah, red lentil curry I want to make, and I also want to make a curry lentil and chickpea and tomato stew i think it's called so but i'll let you know what i make with that fat reduced fat organic milk i got two of these for my red lentil chili i got some garbanzo beans for my soup and some low sodium chicken broth and another can of garbanzo beans. And let me see, what else did I get? I got two of the English cucumbers, some mushrooms, cruciferous crunch, which I absolutely love. And you know what's really good about this when you cook it in the Instant Pot? You drink the water that you you cooked it in. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, let's see. And I got some shredded green and red cabbage. I got some more 21 seasoning salute. Some avocados, which are really tiny. And hot as a rock. And then at the WW meeting, I wanted to get the journal. <clears throat> because, you know, it's because it's the first week of May, I start a new journal every month. So I decided to get one of their journals, which was free if I bought, I don't know, $10 worth of product or something. So I did get a journal. I'll see how this one works this month. And I also got these chili lime quinoa strips. These sound really, really good. I try not to buy any of the Weight Watcher snacks. I just find it too tempting. And I also wanted to try the jalapeno queso uh, sauces. This looks really good. I don't know if anybody's ever tried it. If you have, let me know in the comments below how you like it. And because I was like, I don't know, 20, 25 cents short of my $10, I got a bag of the popcorn sea salt. So I might have that for lunch today with a sandwich. So there is my Trader Joe haul. I think I spent $66 or something like that. Not too bad. Good morning again.
Whew. I just got home from my WW meeting. And you're crooked. Ugh. Anyway, I decided instead of going to Market Basket that I would take the lift to Trader Joe's and then from there come home. So that was cool. It was awesome to shop at Trader Joe's with no crowd because the store had just opened like, I think they opened at nine something. So anyway, that was awesome. It was nice to shop without a crowd and people running into you with their carts. So anyway, I just got home from my meeting and I am happy to say, excited to say, I lost, I lost, I lost, I lost. I lost 1.4 pounds. I am super excited because last week, as you know, I gained 1.2. So I lost that plus the 0.2. So I am super excited. Oh, it has taken me forever and ever and ever, but I am doing it. You know, I lose, like, you know, I lose 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, you know, I'll go lose, 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 lose. And then I gain what I just lost in the last five weeks. Not on purpose, though, because my body just hates me. But I'm getting there. I'm more than a, I'm a, I'm a snail. I'm not a turtle. I'm a snail. I think snails move slower than turtles. Anyway... The uh, weekly was about easing, ease emotions without food. That was a really good, really good meeting today. And, you know, I don't, I don't eat out of anger or if I'm happy or sad or whatever. I eat because I'm lonely. I eat because I'm bored. And I eat because I'm tired. Those three things are what makes me eat. And you know, since we've moved in this apartment, it's been a struggle, a huge struggle for me because I'm alone the majority of the time. Um, as before, we, I, we lived all together. My, all my kids and my grandkids, we all lived together in the house. So there's like, it was always eight or 10 of us all together. And now it's just me, Sally, and my daughter, Brenda, who, when she is home, she's in her room all the time. And she's always been that way. But I'm always here sitting in the living room all by myself. Even if Sally's home, he, he might be in the room, <laughs> but he'd be asleep on the recliner nine out of ten times. So I'm always alone. So, and I'm always bored and I'm always trying to find something to do in the house or some kind of project or something without the cat irritating me or getting in my way, not irritating me, but she can, she can irritate me at times, but getting in my way or, you know, it's really hard for me to do my crafting with her because no matter where she is, she knows I'm at this table and she will find me and take apart whatever I'm working on because she's done it. Um, I have many little craft things to keep me busy and I just recently picked, you know, started reading more. So I've been doing that, which is good because of my eyes. My eyes are really bad and I've been told to read more to try and strengthen my eye because it's really bad. Anyway, um, so that's what I've been doing to try to keep myself from eating at night. I have have stopped with a hard work uh, to stop eating after six or seven o'clock at night. And it was hard for me to do. It really was. But I, I did it. I also eat when I'm tired. Now, I seem to be always tired because, I don't know, I think it has to do with my my I think it has to do with just my body. It, it, my iron is low and uh, some of my blood levels are low and that causes me to be tired and the medication I'm on makes me tired and blah, 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 blah. But I don't sleep very well. I was never a huge sleeper. Um, I always went to bed early. I always woke up every two hours to pee. 
Um, I always woke up during the night not being able to go back to sleep. I've been a really light sleeper all my life and I always got up early, always. And we were at the house, we had the dogs, they always woke me up at four, four well, usually 4.30, average 4.30 uh, to go out and pee. That's just the way they were. I, uh, I was up anyway. So, like I said, I was always up early. Here I get up about 5.30. 36. But I'm also in bed about 10. I could go to bed at 9. I could go to bed at 8 o'clock sometimes. But I fight to keep awake because a lot of times Sully gets up for work at 10.30 or 11. He goes to bed normally around 6 o'clock. So I try to stay up to make sure he gets up. So I usually I go to bed by 11 anyway I go to bed so that's tired that's late for me so I struggle to stay awake I've had to set my alarm on my phone in case I fall asleep in the chair because that's been known to happen too so what I was doing was I was eating at night to keep myself awake so I wouldn't fall asleep and then it dawned on me duh just fall asleep in the chair instead of eating and set your alarm it'll wake you up it took me a long time to figure that out but anyway, that's what the meeting was about, was ease emotion so you don't eat. Just have to remind yourself uh, if you're hungry. What is it? Hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. Halt, they called it. Hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. Ask yourself those four questions before you eat. Okay, that was my interpretation. I don't do a very good job at explaining it, but if you do, go over to Sandy at Let's Get Fit with Sandy because she explains it awesome. So today's recipe is spiced lamb chops with gremolata. And I have never, ever, ever had lamb. I don't know what it tastes like. I have no idea. I probably won't eat it either. So... And uh, it was awesome to watch everybody's videos for the collab yesterday. It was really great. I got some awesome recipes. Um, I have my list of my recipes that I want to make for next week on my grocery list. And I'm excited to try some of the new ones. And what else? I'm going to see my mom soon. And uh, like you know, it, it always stresses me out when I go see her. And... Um, I really feel sad. I, I feel bad for uh, Anita, Anita at Chit Chat Paddywhack. If you haven't checked her channel out, go check her out. Tell her I sent you. But she has a great channel. But she's dealing with this now with her dad. Um, I don't think he lives near her, but um, her family is dealing with uh, the same kind of uh, issues with Alzheimer's and dementia, and it's. It's just a, a real sucky disease, and, and I would, you know, it's just sucky. It really is, and I really feel sad, bad for her, and I, and I know exactly what she's going through, so my heart breaks for her. So, anyways, <sighs> I send you all the love and hugs and prayers and everything, Anita, if you're watching this, and uh, <sighs> that's that. So... Alrighty, well, I'm going to start making, i got to make my breakfast. I'm starving. I did have a Premier Protein uh, coffee this morning uh, after my meeting, so that was good. But it wasn't enough. I'm still hungry. And it is 1030. So, I will let you go and I will show you what I eat today. See you later. Here's what I had today. And my overnight oats this time are a third of a cup of oatmeal and a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. I did not have my 3 p.m. snack because I was at the doctor's office with Sully. So 
I erased all that. And then I had the Trader Joe's orange chicken and vegetable rice, which was really filling and sitting like lead in my stomach right now, but it was delicious. So I only had 21 points today.